Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great. Today I'm going to be making some mini bottle charms. That was actually really hard for me to say because whenever I would start filming, I would always end up saying baby bottle pops for some reason. Anyway, I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about where I got the bottle from. I got mine from the dollar store. The bottles were filled with glitter and microbeads, so I just emptied it out. But I'm pretty sure you can find empty bottles online, so I'll try to find links and leave them down below for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, you can give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and if you'd like to stick around, then you can go ahead ahead and click the subscribe button down below and now let's get started here I have the mini bottle and all I'm going to do is empty it out because mine had these nail glitters inside but as I mentioned earlier you should be able to find empty bottles as well to make this into a charm that is if you want to make this into a keychain or a necklace you will need an eye pin and all I'm going to do is just poke it through the cork once that's done, you can pretty much make whatever you want inside of the bottle. I am now using polymer clay and I'm going to make a very tiny ghost. By the way, I forgot to mention but the clay that I'm using is glow in the dark which is super cool and surprisingly the clay does glow really well. Using some black polymer clay, I'm going to make the eyes and the mouth. Now I'm going to take the ghost and I'm going to make a small hole so that I am able to glue it to the eye pin later on. But right now I'm just going to quickly check if the ghost is fitting inside of the bottle and it did. Now I'm just going to let that bake in the oven for about 5 minutes. I did cut the eye pin according to my liking and now all I'm going to do is just glue it in place. Now I'm popping on the cork and that is pretty much it. If you want, you can glue on the cork so it doesn't come off but honestly, it does fit pretty well so you don't really need to do that. The next charm that I'm going to be showing you is the Pokeball. I have some white polymer clay and I'm going to make a ball of that. I'm going to make a hole inside and I'm going to let that bake in the oven for about 5 minutes. Once it was out of the oven, I took some acrylic paint and I'm just drawing on the details for the Pokeball. Like we did earlier, I'm putting some glue, popping on the Pokeball, and then I'm just going to pop on the cork, and that is pretty much it. For the third and final charm, I have a ball of yellow polymer clay, and I'm taking two black microbeads for the eyes. You can use black polymer clay for this as well. Then I'm going to take two balls of orange polymer clay and put those on for the feet. To finish it off, I took some orange acrylic paint and I made a triangle for the beak. And then I'm going to let that bake in the oven for about 5 minutes. So right here I have the glass bottle and all I'm going to do is take a ball of green polymer clay and I'm going to take a cotton swab and I'm just pushing it down so that it looks like grass. You can use like green paper for this if you want but I'm just going to use clay and you don't really need to bake this in the oven because I mean it's just going to be in the bottle. Now I'm going to take the adorable chick and just glue him in place. Other than these three, I did make a cookie jar and a message bottle. So yeah, that is pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below which charm was your favorite. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far. I love you and I'll see you in my next one.